Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Ireland. So, the Protestant War is in full swing. Fortunately, I'm not involved. Which, then again, that is kind of sad. I mean, poor, poor, poor Austria. It looks like we're going to end up having a Protestant Empire after all. Which does kind of make me sad because I didn't get on the boat for becoming a... Uh, Wait, where are these 19 caravels come from? Oh, that, that's my trade fleet. What am I thinking? Sometimes I am just not that smart. And other times I am. But this is not one of those times. Uh, actually, what is in this navy here? Uh, transports? Oh yeah, some of them are cannons. So you know what? We're going to come out here. There we are. Get these cannons in here. Well, we'll I guess we'll land. You know what? I'll land everyone here and then I'll walk them into the fort. It'll work out beautifully. I mean, taking a naval landing like this is probably not the smartest move. But, you know what? I don't care. Because I can do it. And if I can do it, it makes me happy. And if it makes me happy, then who cares what everyone else thinks, right? That's what I say. Oh, wait. I can actually walk around. All right. I mean, it's not going to matter. Once I take all this stuff, I should be at basically 100%. Oh, and Wurzburg wants out of the war. I can understand that. I made you a vassal, which I can't because I haven't actually taken any of your land. Yeah, just just get out of here, Wurzburg, you silly goof. And all our colonies are self-sustaining, but we can't colonize anything because it's all sieged out. That is the definition of me being an unhappy man. Well, I suppose it's not definition, definition, but it's close enough is what I'm saying. All right. Probably want to siege some of this stuff back, actually. Uh, let's take off everything, I guess. Siege some stuff. I sure it's split in half. Siege as much stuff as we possibly can. I mean, I want to. I want this to be done. I want this to be over with. I don't want any more anger and sadness, for the most part. There's going to be some anger and sadness. I might actually want to become Protestant after this. Because that'll give... Me in fact, I wonder... If I became Protestant now, what do you think the odds are that because I'm not... Well, actually, no, because of all the aggressive expansion and stuff. Yeah, never mind. I was going to say for a second there, maybe there's a chance that we could become the Emperor. These guys are never going to finish this. Poor Milan. They're all stuck in my empire. Beautiful, though, isn't it? I mean, everything is going... Not strictly speaking according to plan, but it is going very well, I would say. And at the end of the day, isn't that all that really matters? I think so. Oh, oh, poor, sad Brittany. They don't know what they're getting into. They never did, really. They thought they knew, but they didn't. And it's their fault for joining a coalition against me. That's why I'm punishing them in this fashion. Also, I'm, I'm very sad about this. Stupid pretender rebels, always pretending. Uh, we do have a call for peace. I mean, I've fully sieged them, so it's not like they can say no to me. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. War reparations and all your money. Give up your claims in my land. Yeah, because I don't want too big of a coalition. Because as you can see, I mean... This is going to cause some people to be very, very mad at me. Fortunately, we have that whole League War thing going to keep people relatively calm and not crazy. Oh, good. We're actually going to get power projection for this. That Brittany was one of our our people. Um, Let's core everything. I'll keep this fort because we're probably going to need this. And these guys can go do their thing. I can go do my thing. Dates. Dates? Don't be silly. This stuff should all automatically go back to Brazil. In a minute. Come on. Oh, this better go to Brazil. Why is this not going to Brazil? Because it was siege. Did it get all screwed up? Brittany is no longer a valid rival. Alright, I'm going to have to manually give this stuff to Brazil. That's kind of stupid. Rano. All right, but these things happen. At least we kind of have an idea that there is glitchy weirdness. 
There's always glitchy weirdness, to be honest, but sometimes those are the breaks. All right, we'll send a colonist, send a colonist, and send another colonist. We'll just colonize straight up here, and we'll be practically touching Columbia. It'll be great. And you know what? I am going to tell Columbia I'm going to enable scootage so that they don't get called into any wars, because they can't really help anyway, and ideally, what I'd really want them to do is just kind of sit around and mind their own business and take care of stuff. Uh, let us uh, turn off our forts while we're at it. And we'll release Provence as its own its own place, because we don't need it. Uh, Provence. There we go. Excellent. How do you like me, Provence? Provence actually loves me. Look at that. They're a vassal. They are the same religion for some reason. I mean, go for it, I guess. Here, I'll royal marry you. Why not? I could even make them a march now that I think about it. Because, I mean, I'm not going to pro... I'm probably not going to integrate them. I'll keep them as their own little thing. And I'll make them more powerful. I don't want to go to war with France. Who is in the stronger position right now? France or Burgundy? I'll determine... Of course, then again, do I really want to get involved in this stuff? Because, I mean, there's already a bit of a coalition forming against me here. Let's see, 22,000... And Burgundy has 46,000. Oh yeah, I can... Why would... Why is Austria even an option? They're 100 million miles away, and... I mean, don't quote me on that. There may not be 100 million miles between here and here. But I'm gonna say there is, for now. Uh, let's see, how do people feel about me? Because again, I mostly want people to like me so that they won't join a coalition. There's very, there's many, many things you can do to avoid coalitions against yourself. Let's also spend some money, I guess, to uh, make ourselves more profitable. I like profit. Profit is good. Uh, any more cash money to be made over here? Potentially. Oh, but I don't have enough. Anything on the production side of things? Plus 30, I like the sound of that. All right, very good. All right, this is good, this is good. In fact, wait, why don't we have the luck of the Irish thing? Or did that pop up and I didn't notice it? Or do I have to core everything before that finishes? Maybe I have to core it. Because we've, we've pretty much met our objective. Actually, let's, let's take a quick look at that. Do I actually have to core it? Let's see here, luck of the Irish. Where is it? I'm actually not, oh, there we are. Yeah, I have to have cores. All right, so I just need to core these last two things, and then we've basically met the objective for this campaign. Uh, I'd rather this. Who are you? You are a fleet, and a very good fleet indeed. All right. Do I want to upgrade this fleet? Can I upgrade this fleet? Um, 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 let's see here. Upgrade ships, 219, okay. I will mothball you for now. We'll upgrade you later. And merchants, right. There's no real point in merchanting anything yet. Ah, the benefits of scootage. Excellent. Because like I said, we're gonna want we're gonna want people up here, and then we can direct more trade. What's this? Norway? Norway? What the heck are you doing, Norway? Silly Norway. Part of me does think maybe I should go to war with them again and stuff. But I don't really want to. Not right now. Man, this is going to be a messy, messy war. What is this? Oh, good. I can core up Somerset. All right. Good. Uh, how are we doing on military? Uh, we'll probably want to save this to upgrade. But then again, having better sieges. Well, that would have been better during that actual war when we had those sieges that just wouldn't end. But, actually, we're here. I mean, I suppose, I'm not actually sure when the next expansion is going to come out for you for. I just know that there's one in production but it hasn't actually been officially announced as of yet. And there's a part of me that wants to just kind of make this campaign go until that comes out, but then again, maybe we should uh, wrap this one up once we actually meet our campaign goal, and then we'll go do that. We could. I, I don't know. Yowza. I'd rather take the loan. I can always earn that back. Uh, we'll improve relations with you. In fact, to make sure we're earning back, we'll do that. Man, we're making a lot of money. 
Why can't I be making this kind of money in my great con run? Uh, I guess because that would be too easy. Now everyone loves me. It is going to be weird once we have a Protestant Holy Roman Empire. A Protestant Holy Roman Empire that I had nothing to do with. Of course, then again, the AI is dumb as a sack of potatoes, and they're probably going to keep this war going for like 10 million years. And it's going to end up being a neutral thing, even though technically they could win, because no one's going to peace out. The AI is kind of dumb sometimes. Like, they don't try piecing out people necessarily as soon as they can. They'll, they will drag the war out to a 100 war goal for no... Oh, what's this? Francian rough... Uh, wow. Let's see. Catholic faithful will always have a haven here. Surely there are others who can carry the burden. Hmm. Wait, I thought France was Catholic. They are, okay. But they're on the Protestant side? No. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. I and mean, my problem with this is that I've been just trying to end the whole potential risk of a massive, uh... Ah, oh, what the hell, we want the prestige. Why not? Like, the massive coalition that's probably inevitably going to form here. And I, for one, don't particularly want a massive coalition. That would scare me. I will go with this guy because he looks slightly more balanced. Hmm. Anyway. We'll just kind of sit here and watch Europe burn. I mean, this is fun, isn't it? Just, uh, Europe is burning. It's good. Good for us, anyway. It's good for business. We can sell to both sides. Yeah. I and mean, it's not like anyone's ever done that in the middle of a war. A world war. Yes. Brilliant idea, really. I mean, unless you have any decency whatsoever. Seriously, selling to both sides in a war so that they can keep the war going longer. Who would do such a thing? Actually, set Adley in real life, there's all kinds of arms dealers who do just that, no doubt. Which is sad, but I guess that's life. And let's not bring real life into a video game, because then things just get very, very, very cynical. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this. I really should read those more sometimes, but... It's kind of at a point where I just kind of see what bonus or penalty do I want to accept more. Yeah. That is life sometimes. What's this? We must show them our support, huh? Netherlands. The Dutch! The Dutch have broken free of Burgundy! How strong is Burgundy right now? They have no manpower, but they are relatively big. However, I am also relatively big. Alright, let's crank this up. Alright, everyone, get ready for war. And we might not get called into the war right away, but... This would be an excellent opportunity. Hang on a second. Before we do anything we might regret here... I forget what stuff exactly counts as part of the lowlands region that would end up being. I really should learn more of my geography. I'm pretty sure, like, this is mostly where the Netherlands is in real life, is it not? And I think in real life, France's borders come... I mean, Vlaanderen sounds like a good... That sounds more Dutch to me. That what, what, Wait, what is its culture? Flemish. Would, would you say Flemish is... More of a French thing, or... Wait, Calais? Oh, Calais is part of the Netherlands. Well, I guess that kind of ain't... I really should refresh myself on the geography of modern-day... Um, <laughs> modern-day... Uh, the modern-day Netherlands and other European nations, is what I'm trying to say. You know what? Why not? I will join you in your fight for freedom, sir. Alright. And since I haven't immediately been called into the war, I and mean, Burgundy's got bigger fish to fry, so this is the perfect chance. I, in fact, I feel this is actually potentially historically what happened. I think the Netherlands broke away 
as part... I mean, I don't think Burgundy was still around at that point in real history, but I think in real history, the whole uh, 30 Years' War, which triggered, like, the whole League War here, is more or less, I think, what allowed the Netherlands to get free. A lot of stuff got shaken up as a result of this whole war between the Protestants and the Catholics. And it's funny, really, because it all ha No one really was trying to start the shit that started happening here. But shit, in fact, went down, and it was pretty bad for everyone involved. Like, as I recall, like, m based on the records, as spotty as they were back in the day, like, more people died in that whole 30 years war than, like, it was an event that was comparable to the whole Black Death, as I recall. Like, it was that serious. Pretty crazy when you think about it, right? I think so. Too many relationships, huh? Psh. Let's see here. I am so far away from becoming an empire. Or at least of empire rank. Um, let's see here. And they're a republic. Oh yeah, I forgot you can marry into a Dutch republic. Forgot about that. Well, the better part here would be if we actually manage to... Like, the good thing here is a lot of these lowland countries will slowly over time defect and join the Netherlands, which is pretty sweet. And uh, it also means that there's going to be less people who are going to likely actually want to kill me as a result of... I mean, these guys are friendly. Everyone's friendly towards me. We might actually be in a good position here. Very good position indeed. But anyway. Oh yeah, see? That... I... I cut or skipped past that pretty quickly, but it said Utrecht joined the Republic. So basically what's going to happen is all these like lowland countries are going to slowly over time, hopefully, defect and join the Dutch. And that is good for me. Who are you allied with anyway? Oh yeah, and they have no allies. So I'm going to come in here and help my new buddy, the Dutch, and take some provinces while I'm at it, because why not? Where's, where's Flanders? I might wait until Flanders breaks away, actually, now that I think about it. That way I don't accidentally step on anybody's toes here. Because I don't want that. Especially not my good buddy here. I mean... Oh, there we go. Luck of the Irish. Alright, so we did it. And here's the Netherlands. So, they're actually... What is Burgundy's army looking like right now? You know what? The Netherlands could actually do this all on their own. So, you know what? They don't need my help. I am going to come in... And I could just humiliate them. I could take a core. Beroy. Beroy? What the heck is that? I, mean, I might as well take some of the stuff that's going on in here, assuming France doesn't take it. You know what? I will. I'll take some of that. If I can. Oh, there's Beroy. So yeah, I can feed some stuff to Provence. They're going to be broken as hell, but... Excuse me. We're going to do it. All right. Let's rock and or roll. Actually, I suppose we might as well just uh, send in these guys. Might want to slow this one down a tad. This is going to be fun. You know what? This campaign is going to go on longer. We've, we've finished our goal of the campaign, but we're going to keep it going. We're going to let things play on out. Uh, anyone else who absolutely hates me? Do you hate me? Uh, you do, but I've already done pretty much everything I can. Uh, Nuremberg. Join Trade League. Okay, I don't know why I would want to join the Trade League, but alright. You say so, Haas. Oh, I just saw that 21 stack. Oh no, I should have made Provence pay scootage, because that way they wouldn't get called into the war. Then again, I might want them at some point. Yeah, they're gonna come down here and beat up on poor old, poor defenseless Provence. Look at that, those... Oh wait, no, they're going away. Good. That's what I like to see. Alright, so I'm gonna take all up here. Uh, I'll lose the prestige, rather, because I'm going to gain most of that prestige back between my colonies and and this. And I would rather lose prestige than lose my military power, because I feel... In fact, I feel all monarch power... My biggest problem, again, going back to a little complaint about, uh, about corruption and such here, is the fact that you, ha you have no control over your monarch points for the most part. So... If you get some bad rules, you basically, or bad rulers in a row, you kind of get screwed over. Which sucks, quite frankly. Uh, yeah, let's 
lower this a bit. And as you can see here, I mean, look at that. Production speed, power cost, autonomy, like 0.20. Well, actually, 0.20 is not that bad, I guess. It's not great, but it's not terrible. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this fort. We don't need any forts on the islands. And we probably don't even need this fort, but that's really just as a as sort of like a trap to distract the enemy and get them to focus on other things so that they don't kill me. Because I don't like people killing me, as you can probably imagine. Let's, uh... Let's make Russia like us a little bit more as well, if we can. I and mean, basically, we're just trying to smooth over relations here so that no one joins a coalition against me. Can I vassalize you? Probably not. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. But I could go to war and vassalize you. I don't think they would risk joining a coalition against me. These guys probably wouldn't either, but you know what? Let's make them friends anyway. All right. Because all the people who are close enough to potentially be a threat, I want to have on lockdown. Just to make sure. What's this? I would pick that up. I don't think we're... What's this do? May sabotage recruitment. Interesting. And I do like some of the spy stuff here. There we go. Now we're going to destroy their navy. Ah, take that, Burgundy. Poor, poor Burgundy. Also, I caught one of their ships, which is awesome. I, I do feel kind of bad for them. Hmm. I also wondered to myself, oh, the League War's over. All right, let's have a look at it. Oh, no, Burgundy just peaced out with Austria. Let's see here. Uh, they will cede Franche Comte, which I probably butchered the pronunciation of that, which became Friegschaft. 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 That, that's as close as I'm going to get to a correct pronunciation. So enjoy, enjoy as best you can, my horrible pronunciation of things. Ooh, gold. I love gold. Gold is nice. People like gold. Ah. All right, so basically I'm going to want to try, I might actually just focus on taking like all this for Provence if I can. Because that sounds like it would be fun. Fun for me, fun for you, fun for the whole family. I do feel kind of bad about Burgundy here. They're getting absolutely wrecked. But I feel really good for the Dutch because... They could not have chosen a better time to peace out here. Also, it seems like Austria is slowly turning the war around since they were able to peace out people. Which is good, I guess. I mean, I don't think they're going to win. But then again, they might. They could still turn this around. Ah. These are good times, my friends. Very good times indeed. Oh, wait. There comes a big old 20 stack. But they have no manpower. We have all the manpower. And I will come in here and I will back up uh, the Dutch if they need me. I'm kind of hoping that Flanders... How is Flanders feeling anyway? Are you feeling rebellious? No. Loyal. How could you betray your own... Your own kind? Oh, and you're actually also blocking me in. Well, screw you, Flanders. Eh, it's only a level 3 fort. I can take that. I mean, I just need to be able to get enough access so I can come through here. Oh, there's Flanders. Yeah, you run away, Flanders. Oh, I hope the Dutch win. Oh, wait, are they busy sieging this? Yes, they are. Okay, this could still work. I don't know if it will or not, but I can dream. What's this? Rebel Uprising. English Separatists? I don't want English separatists. Sounds like it would be very dirty and gross and unhygienic for my purposes. Uh, construct a grand fleet, huh? I have 20 heavy ships. Uh, no thank you, sir. And might as well make sure we don't have any English separatists. Oh, except I can't because the Brit or Brittany pressed that button at some point. Oh, what's this? Burgundian royals? Oh, come on. No one gave you permission to rebel. I mean, I just sieged that back. Stupid. Stupid, stupid rebels. Hmm. Oh well, these things happen. I'll let them do their stuff. This here, no, that's not your capital. That's good. Where is your capital? It's around here somewhere. There's a lot of forts around here as well. Fun times, really. Fun times. Ooh, I could turn this into a state. And it'll make me a bunch of money. You know what? Why not? 
core everything. I love that. Incidentally, I suppose I should probably explain that a bit better, because we haven't really done anything with that, and I haven't really explained the whole states mechanic. Basically, uh, it used to be... Actually, you know what? Put a pin in this. Remind me in the comments to talk about this in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to wrap things up. But I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about this for anyone interested in the next episode to sort of try to give a better example of exactly what's going on here. Because it occurs to me, I'm pretty sure I've added all this to states and such. And I haven't really talked about what exactly is going on. So remind me for next time. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video.